Hello, this video is going to show how we can measure structural coverage and also perform unit testing with Microchip's MPLAB X. So with Microchip MPLAB X I can develop uh, applications for devices such as the Atmel SAM devices, in which case I would use the XC32 compiler. With the same compiler I could also generate applications for PIC32. I could use the XC8 compiler to generate applications for PIC16 and PIC18 devices and I could also do it for the XC16 compiler for PIC24, DSPIC30s and the one I'm going to demonstrate today which is the DSPIC33 and this is the board, it's a micro stick that I've got connected to my laptop at the moment. So this is MPLAB X and inside here I've got this simple uh, program here and I've actually executed this at the moment. Let's take a look at the properties and we should be able to see this is the, the device that I'm, I've, I'm using and I've connected via a starter kit to the, the board and as we can see I'm actually debugging this at the moment and I can of course single step through this code and understand exactly what's happening. Okay, so let's go and now stop the execution here and the first thing I want to be able to do is to analyze the source code. So I'm going to go and find a file that I'm interested in, the safecompress.c. Let's right click and let's do a code review on that particular file. So what I've done is I've installed the Eldray plugin into MPLAB X and we can see here we have the Eldray window and in this particular view we can see what's happening and that's just finished I think and there we can see we have a number of violations that have been detected. So I could effectively just double click on here and that takes me to the appropriate place where the violation occurs. So I can analyze a single file like that. Alternatively I could do it for the entire project. Well to save time I've already done that so I'm going to close down MPLAB X and we're going to go into TB Vision where we can see we have exactly the same project. And if I right click on here I can actually do a code review and there we can see the various violations that I've detected. Okay, well I could go ahead and very uh, correct those but what I'm interested in the moment is more in the execution of this code. So let's take a look at a system call graph first and the call graph is going to show me all these functions how they're interconnected and what I want to be able to do is maybe let's take a look and look and see well how complex is this code let's uh, measure things like the cyclomatic complexity and I can see the most complex function is this safe S print F or let's go and take a look at a, a flow graph and the flow graph is going to be a graphical representation of that function and there we can see we have the flow graph and if I click on a particular block of code we can see the corresponding block over here this block where's that well that corresponds over here okay let's put that to one side and now let's go and execute the code and find out as our main executes how much of the code has it actually exercised so to do that I'm going to first of all instrument the source code then I'm going to build it so we'll instrument it build it execute it and then I'll measure the coverage so let's start that alright so the first thing is it's going to instrument the code it's going to put probes around all the branches and then it's performing the build so we're invoking the the, the microchip uh, environment here to do a, a, a build and then when that's finished we're then going to be able to connect to the target and execute and so here we're going to connect to the target so we're using the, the microchip SDX and I've created a, a groovy script in order to use that uh, SDX API SDK API should I say now we can see we're connecting to the target, uh, we've found our device, it's now going to program it and then it's going to execute. Okay, so there we can see it's executing, this is our execution history that we're extracting from the target, we're saving that into a file on the host and then we're going to analyze that file and that will tell us what parts of the code have we actually exercised. So there we can see we've split that into a couple of other files which we're now analyzing and when that's completed 
we're going to be able to take a look and see what coverage have we obtained. So what we'll do is we'll start by taking a look at a system call graph and on the system call graph this time we're going to put this into a, a mode where we're going to be able to see the coverage and there we can see in green we've got coverage in red we haven't got the coverage we can sort and rapidly find where we've got coverage and where we've not got coverage we can see for the safe f print f we've got 93 percent statement coverage 81 percent branch decision coverage and 40 percent mcdc so let's take a look at a, uh, a flow graph and this time the flow graph is going to show us very clearly which parts of the code have we exercised in green and which parts have we not exercised in red and if we want to get complete coverage from this then what I might want to do is to use the, uh, the unit testing tool in order to do that so let's go and invoke TB run and TB run is a unit testing tool so wait for this to initialize and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a sequence that I've previously created. So I'm going to here and open a sequence for the safe print F. Okay, this has 13 test cases. For each test case, we can see we have inputs and expected outputs. And let's run this. So it needs to do a little bit more analysis. And then it's going to generate a harness. It's going to build it and then it's going to download it and execute it on the target. So this is going to take a little bit of time. The build is not the, the fastest one, but there we can see it's invoking the project make files generator. And then we can see it's invoking make. And now it's connecting to the, the target. So once more, it's created this groovy script, sort of a Java based language, which is used to control the, the SDK. And now we're able to connect to the debugger so we've connected and we're going to now start to download the application and then we're going to set a number of breakpoints and execute the code and we'll capture the data and be able to save it into a file on the host so there we can see that's now running it's going to take a bit longer because it's printing out there's quite a few test cases here at the end we've got the execution history it's now saving all that into a, a file on the host and then just as before the LDRA TB run will actually analyze that and as we can see all the tests have passed which means with the inputs we can see over here well we have got the expected outputs there and at the same time we're measuring the coverage so what we should see is the coverage is going to increase for this particular file and there we can see I've got full coverage now for this particular function and if you'd like more information then please don't hesitate to contact LDRA. Thank you.